But we are celebrating 50 years of hip hop on Eyewitness News, and the Bronx is the birthplace of hip hop, but Westchester County is also home to many legendary artists. It's where Sean Diddy Combs got his first break. Acclaimed producer Pete Rock mastered his craft in Mount Vernon. The common thread, the late Dwight Arrington Myers, AKA Heavy D. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson talked with his mom about everything from his life to the legacy he leaves behind. Hands down, when it comes to hip hop, he put Mount Vernon on the map. Dwight Arrington Myers, better known as Heavy D. His younger cousin, <laughs> legendary producer, DJ, and rapper Peter Phillips, AKA Pete Rock, who as a teenager, I snuck down in the basement of Hev's house and turned on the equipment, and Floyd came downstairs and caught me and then taught me. Dwight's older brother, Floyd. This is a story about family, its influence on each and every decision Dwight made as an artist. He said, Mom, do you think I could really face you and my dad if they're listening to me on the radio or anything and I'm using profanity? And November 8, 2011, when Mrs. Meyer's youngest child died, he was just 44 years old. In the morning, you speak to your child, and within four hours, he's gone. From their home in Mount Vernon, the matriarch of this proud Jamaican-American family tells me about the very beginning when a then 17-year-old Dwight told her he wanted to be a rapper. I said, I'm going to give you one year, and if you make it, I will be supportive. But if you don't make it, I want you to make me a promise that you're going back to college. Done deal. Within six months, Andre Harrell ended up in my house asking me to sign the paper. Harrell started his label, Uptown Records. Heavy D and the Boys was first to sign. What followed? Late nights in the studio and a certain neighbor who idolized Heavy. Dwight loved him, though, but he said, you're getting to be a pain in the neck, you know that. So he went to Andre and he said, do me a favor, just hire Puff. Sean Diddy Combs, Heavy always made sure his lyrics were family friendly, is one reason why artists like Michael and Janet Jackson worked with him. But he was well aware the industry was changing, more expletives in songs. He said, no, I'm, I'm never going to be like that. I can't do it, Mom. Dwight focused on acting, raising his daughter, but in 2011, a return to the stage in what would be his last performance at the BET Hip Hop Awards. Today, Mrs. Myers holds on to words of wisdom she instilled in her family, lessons that made Dwight the person he was. We've always taught our children, show kindness and be respectful. It will take you a long way.